Epilepsy is a group of neurological disorder characterized by recurrent epileptic seizures. The most common type of seizures, which most of the people recognize as generalized tonic-clonic seizures, wherein a person continuously jerk and subsequently he develops frothing and becomes confused for two to three minutes and subsequently he recovers over a period of five to ten minutes. This is the most common type of seizure which is recognized by most of the people. The other type of seizure which are generally not recognized are called complex partial seizure wherein a person becomes suddenly confused for five to ten minutes and then over a period of time he recovers. This is the type of seizure which are generally not recognized by the people. So anybody who become confused for five to ten minutes may be having seizures and they need medical attention. The other type of seizure which are not recognized are absence seizure, especially children they develop absence epilepsy and this is recognized by the school teacher and the school teachers they report to the family member that the child is not having concentration in the school. So therefore the complex partial seizure and absence type of epilepsy may go unrecognized unless there is a general awareness by the public. Currently treatment options are available for epilepsy. Most of the epilepsy can be treated either by medications or by surgical treatment. 70 to 75 percent of the epilepsy if they are diagnosed correctly the exact type of epilepsy if identified they can be treated by medication nearly about 20 to 30 percent of the persons with epilepsy they do not respond to medications and they can be helped by various types of surgery epilepsy can be diagnosed by two important investigations one is called electroencephalogram of the brain which is just like the ecg test of the heart the other test is called mri very rare patients may require other investigations to prove the diagnosis of the epilepsy. So patients with epilepsy can be helped by either medications or by surgery and there is a treatment options are currently available for them. Thank you.